Howdy folks, welcome back to Sonic CD Part 3. Today we're taking on Tidal Tempest. Uh, this stage is... Well, I'll put it like this, it's the only water stage in the game. So, uh, <laughs> you're lucky there, but at the same time, you know, it... It's one of those stages where water is completely optional, so, you know, it, it, it does it well. It does it right. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. This... I, I don't exactly know... It's killed me a bit because you know, you know, Palm Tree Panic is the, uh, it's it's like the you know the tree stage, the the, war, the just like the island stage if you will, the green hill. Then you got Collision Chaos, which is the bumper stage, I guess. But then you got Tidal Tempest. Is it a water ruin? What what would you call this? I <laughs> like it, I I don't know. If if you if you know, please tell me because it's kind of killing me a bit. <laughs> But, uh, yeah. Again, you'll notice there was an upper path that I could have taken if I was, uh, if I wanted to get through this stage quicker, but since, uh, I'm tasked with the heavy duty of finding the goddamn fucking monitors, then, uh, it makes everything a little bit harder. But that's okay, because, uh, it's rewarding at the end, I guess. <laughs> you'll notice a new lobster badnik there that, uh, doesn't really have complete frames, it's just more of a wiggle to the side, but, uh, yeah. Uh, you'll notice the drowning music is actually gone completely. <laughs> they uh, they decided to remove that for Sonic CD for some apparent reason. But uh, yeah, so it's it's not it is not here anymore. It is replaced by like a more of a a warning sound that uh, occurs every time it gets a a second lower. So uh, yeah, uh, I'm gonna make this clear. I struggle a lot with this stage because you know it's a water stage and uh it's a water stage. <laughs> what can I say? But, uh, yeah. So, uh, you'll notice these, uh, oh. Yeah. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Got a little uh, confused there. Um, you'll notice the, uh, the water, uh, sorry, the springs, there'll be springs placed in the stage so that uh, you can bounce back and forth on. And those are made specifically for traveling back and forward in time, depending on, uh, what time period you want it to go to. And, uh... Yeah, uh, Tidal Tempest has some good music, it really does, so, uh, keep your ears peeled for that, or go look, uh, go look up some of the, uh, the OST for Sonic CD, because, uh, it's beautiful. And we made it with 50 rings. Booyah! Now we gotta take on the special stage. Now, uh, uh, not necessarily a good thing, considering, again, the special stages are complete bullshit at times. But, uh, yeah. Ah, this one. I'm pretty sure I ace this one. This one is, a. Uh, I really like the setting of this one. It reminds me a lot of Speed Highway. So, uh... We'll get to Sonic Adventure one day. Uh, for those who are curious, once I finish the Sonic CD playthrough, I'm most likely going to be playing through Sonic 3D Blast for the Saturn, or Sonic 4. I'll leave Sonic the Fighters as a little sub-series. Uh, fun fact! What- Bouncing into that wall is very helpful. It, uh, it can reduce speed a lot, so use it to your advantage if you wanted to break the, uh, the UFOs, because you're going to need them. It's not all fun and games in these special stages, let me tell you, and, uh, you wanna dodge that water? As I said, you're gonna wanna dodge that water like it's the plague, because it is. You hit it, you lose, essentially. So remember, it's just, don't touch the goddamn water. <laughs> it's the only advice I can give you here. So, uh, yeah. Alrighty, got the fifth Chaos Emerald and we missed the fourth one because I'm an idiot. Fun fact, although it's probably not really a fun fact because you all know this at this point, so yeah. Oh yeah, you can also get extra lives in the special stage rather than continues, so that's a, that's a difference to a three and knuckles, but uh, yeah. This, this stage, uh, this part of the stage, if you just continue to keep falling down, it'll just reverse over and over again. So you'll be falling down in the exact same place and it'll be endless until you touch one of the, uh, touch a platform. So remember that. Uh, also, this stage introduces a new gimmick. Uh, these little blaster things that, uh, shoot you, well, don't shoot you, they, like, move you a bit and it's really hard to do, look, they, like, push, they're, like, four, like, gusts of air and they're really hard to, can, uh, it's really hard to platform around, because they're so... Ugh. But, uh, yeah. Uh, I like Sonic CD because it actually introduces 
gimmicks each act. Like, uh, you remember from Collision Chaos Act 1 that, uh, there was, uh, it was just like the, uh, you know, the, uh, the vertical climb with, uh, like, the, the bumpers and stuff. Well, Act 2, uh, it introduced the, uh, hmm. Uh, how do I explain it? Uh, the little, like, poppy things from Mirage Saloon in Sonic. Ooh. Maybe I should get to Sonic Mania at one point. That'd be cool. But, uh, yeah, those little poppy things, uh, they get introduced into the stage at one point. So, uh, yeah. An Act 2, at least. Oh, may I say that finding the monitors in this stage is a BITCH! It's so hard! And I had to look up a guide just to find Tidal Tempest monitors. Oh, and just wait till we get to Quartz Quadrant. Holy fuck. And Wacky Workbench. Ugh. The problem with Sonic CD is the level design. It's complete bullshit at times, and it either completely retracts away the rewarding sensation of speed, or it makes you look uncanny for things that'll take you ages. So, you know, pick your poison. <laughs> Something I forgot to mention is Flickies are completely absent from Sonic CD. They are completely gone. When you defeat a, when you defeat a bad Nick, they drop flowers instead. And lucky these monitor, this monitor was at the very end of the stage, because if it wasn't, I would be genuinely fucked. I would have to go all the way back down to the bottom of the stage, at the back, if this was Act 1, just to find that monitor again. It's, again, complete bullshit. It's not fun, it's time consuming, and I just want to blast through the stage like I can in Sonic 2 or Sonic 3. You are introducing a completely new element to the Sonic franchise, with the two pri- no, yeah. Four, no, four prior games being purely about going fast. This is not my cup of tea, but I'm not complaining, so. Here's another Metal Sonic monitor. Uh, as I said, they do jack shit. Oh, actually, no, Flickies aren't completely absent from the game. Uh, they show up when you're beating, when Metal Sonic is beating the shit out of something, like kicking it. He's kicking a Flicky. So, uh, yeah. Remember that, I guess. Is it a- yeah, I'm pretty sure it's a flicky. Oh, yeah, I forgot to mention, there's these crumbling platforms, like, uh, that of, uh... Labyrinth Zone, I guess? I- I'm not entirely sure. But, uh... Yeah, there's crumbling platforms that are basically bricks. And I try way too hard to get up here, but since those damn fucking gusts of air keep moving me, it's so hard. So, like, want my advice? Once you break the monitors, blast through the stage. Don't bother exploring, because it's not a fun time. You want exploration in a Sonic game? Go play Sonic Mania. That's what you want. I've decided to not show the music off here, because I had a lot to talk about in terms of Tidal Tempest. And, uh, if you want the OST, go look for it on YouTube. You'll most likely be able to find it. So, uh, yeah. Now, these fans move you up. Like, I'm, I believe Labyrinth Zone had something similar. Uh, fun- no, actually. Fun fact, uh, Hydro City Act 2 in Sonic Mania uses those, uh, those pole thingies as a gimmick. So, uh, it's really cool. I like, again, I'm gonna have to get to Mania one day because, uh, it, it sure beats playing this. <laughs> don't, don't get me wrong, Sonic City is not an objectively bad game. It's just extremely flawed and kind of ruins what Sonic was in the first place. It retracts away the concept of speed. It's no 06, but it's not exactly my cup of tea. There was a point where I used to love this game to death. And, uh, unfortunately, well, thankfully, I've, I've moved on from that. So, yeah. And thank god we're gonna be able to access a special stage, considering we have about three to go, and I... Whew, I don't think I get any in Quartz Quadrant, so, uh, this is gonna be, a uh, fun. I'm pretty sure I get this one, though, so, uh... It's fine and dandy. Oh yeah, if you have seizure problems, don't play Sonic CD. Well, don't go to the special stage at least. There's so many vibrant colors and it's so off-putting. <laughs> so uh, yeah. I'm not gonna lie, the special stages themselves are pretty fun. They're just frustrating as fuck to finish and, well, finish right at least. So, yeah. 
Remember, dodge, dodge the damn water. This time it's the chemical plant goop, so I uh, don't touch it. As Shadow says. <laughs> See, you go on, you go incredibly fast. They could probably just make a game out of this formula because it's actually quite enjoyable, enjoyable and fun. But again, just just tone down the uh, the water and the difficulty, please, and uh, I'll I'll be happy. Actually, I'm not entirely sure if I make this. I think I do. No, I do not. Sorry about that. I... Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry I'm bad at video games. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Ooh, take a listen. What you just heard there was Tidal Tempest Good Future. And if you listen clo like really closely, it sounds like a donkey's like honking. Making it's weird. Just just listen closely and it sounds like a fucking donkey in the background. Um Fun fact, if you played the if you got the bad future in this stage, you would essentially be uh traveling through a sewage plant. That's how this stage is based. And since the bus fight takes place underwater. <laughs> you are essentially swimming in shit. I'm not- I'm not gonna sugarcoat it. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. This boss is... Weird. Uh, he's basically what Eggman's doing is he's shooting- Well, he's shooting these weird little orbs, and if you get hit by them, you obviously lose rings, and, uh... But you're not gonna drown, because if you hit the bubbles that are surrounding him, you get your egg replenished. So, remember for that. And, uh... Every time you, uh... Oh, sorry about that. Every time you, uh, hit one of his bubbles, he becomes more vulnerable. And then he only takes one hit. And that's it. It's so good that it rhymes. What can I say? <laughs> You'll notice that none of these boss fights are really one, two... Like, one, five hit bosses. They're not really direct hits. They're more like a gradual, like, two or three secret hits kind of thing. But anyway, thanks for watching, folks. Here, take a listen of Tidal Tempest Bad Future. Enjoy. <laughs> 